Today we are going to talk about the parts of an egg. All eggs have the same parts, whether they are fertilized or not. This egg was purchased at a grocery store, and I know that it has not been fertilized, which means that there is no chance of a baby chick growing in this egg. This egg is safe to eat, and I'd like to show you the parts today. Our eggs in the incubator have these same parts. Let's start with the shell. As you can see, the shell on this egg is white. But shells can be different colors based on the color and breed of the chicken. The shells on eggs are very strong and made of calcium. Some shells might even have spots on them, almost like freckles. The shells have lots of very, very tiny holes in them called pores. Each cell, shell can have anywhere from 7,000 to 17,000 pores. You can only see them with a microscope. These pores allow moisture to get into the egg as well as fresh air. Because of these tiny holes, there is a membrane on the inside of the shell that helps keep the liquid inside and helps block bacteria from getting into the egg. There are actually two membranes, an outer and an inner. Can you see them here? Right there, you can see the membrane. Over in this part of the shell, you can see a little pocket of air between the two membranes. This is called the air cell. It forms when the chicken lays the egg. The egg moves from her very warm body into the cooler air and this causes the contents of the egg to shrink and the air cell forms. The air cell is right here. You kind of see, a little harder to see. All right, let's mark those parts of our shell. I mean, of our egg. So we've got our shell, we've got our membrane, and we've got our air cell. All right, next we have the egg whites and the yolk, parts we are all familiar with. We call the egg whites the albumin, and it has two parts, a thick and a thin albumin. The albumin is a source of protein for the baby chick. It is a food supply while the baby chick, called the embryo, is growing in the egg. The thin albumin is the, is the part closest to the shell when the egg isn't cracked open. This is your thin albumin. This is your thick albumin, the part closest to the yolk. And if you can kind of tell it looks, it's called thick because it sits a little higher, it's a little thicker. This white fuzzy looking thing on either side of the yolk are called the chalaze and they anchor the yolk in the center of the egg. The more prominent the chalaze, the fresher the egg. So let's mark, we've got our albumin. Whoop. And we've got our chalaze. Another food source for the baby chick is the yolk. This is the yellow part of the egg and is full of vitamins and minerals that are good for us when we eat eggs and good for ba the baby chick while growing in the egg. So we'll mark the yolk. There is also a membrane around the yolk that you cannot see called the vitellin membrane. This membrane holds the yolk together and keeps it in this perfectly round dome. Have you ever popped the yolk when you are cooking an egg and it spreads all around? This means you have broken the vitellin membrane. So we'll put this up here to the vitellin membrane. All right. The last part of the egg I'd like to show you is this tiny white dot right there. This is called the germinal disc. This is 
how we know that this egg isn't fertilized. If it was fertilized, it wouldn't look like a spot. It would look like a white, a little white ring. The germinal disc is what actually would grow and develop into a baby chick if the egg was fertilized. It grows and divides cells into an embryo. And as cells continue to divide, the different body systems grow and develop into a healthy living chick. So the germinal disc has a very important job if the egg is fertilized. All eggs have a germinal disc. We're gonna put that down there. All right. Now, use the worksheet provided by your teacher to label the parts of the egg. Or, if you are watching this at home, ask your parent if you can crack an egg and locate the different parts yourself. Let me move this over. 